perhaps a game of the week, Kansas City Chiefs on the road at the Cincinnati Bengals. Right now, the Chiefs are anywhere from a four to a five and a half point favorite in this one. So shop around depending on which side you want in this thing. A total of 51. Joe Burrow and company coming off of a just absolute shellacking of the Ravens this past week. And then the Chiefs coming off of a big win themselves, getting that done without Travis Kelsey out on the field. The Chiefs looking like they figured some stuff out here, Brad, whenever there was a stat that came across that in that kind of cover two shell look that too high safety thing that they've been doing against this Chiefs team over the last three weeks, the Chiefs have the highest first down percentage against that defense of any team in the NFL. So shocker, a good quarterback and a good coach got together and figured something out as to how to go about attacking this thing that had maybe been bothering them for about half a season. So here we are, you know, a a four to five point spread against a very hot Bengals team with a lot to play for, but they're not out of the playoffs that they were to lose this game. And I took the four at Kansas City here uh, with Kansas City. And y- you guys know Jesus H. Burrow is 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 my savior. But um, I, I just thought it was a short number here against a against a, a chief squad that I think is is hitting on all cylinders here, figured some stuff out on the offensive side of the ball and has actually been playing fairly decent defense for the last month and a half. Yeah, I'm. I'm an. I'm, I would say I've been a noted Chiefs hater this year. Like I've been, been trying to bet against them where possible, but I agree with you here. I think I think they've figured it out. Um, you know, I suppose it shouldn't be a surprise that they figured out how to beat cover two. Like you know, come on, they're they're two two yeah. Hall of Famers probably. Mm-hmm. Um, and and they've got you know a top five offensive line by run blocking by pass blocking. They, they've got they've got the weapons. So now. You know, as you say, on the defensive side, they're top ten in pressure rate in the second half of the season. They're top ten in pressure rate when just rushing four, so they're not even needing to do these exotic spags blitzes. So, yeah, I, I think the Chiefs score. I, 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 that's not really in question. The, the Bengals faced an easy schedule, and when they have stepped up like against the Chargers a couple of weeks ago, you know they've been boat raced. Um, so I think the Chiefs score, and then I think the Bengals are going to struggle to block this front four again. Um, you know, they, they struggled last week even against the Ravens. Um, but the Ravens had no one in the secondary. Uh, but that's that's not the case here. I think Chris Jones is going to go berserk on the interior here. So my preferred way of playing it is the Chiefs' first half. I'm looking at minus three, about minus one one five at the minute. Um, and I think that gets us the Andy Reid script. That gets us a fresh pass rush, and it, it takes it takes out the chance of Joe Burrow just slinging it around in the second half. Um, I mean, the the other thing to consider in the first half is whether Zach Taylor goes back to this run game. That is that is the weakness of the Chiefs' defense. They're still bad yeah. against the run. And does does Zach Taylor go, okay, we, we got we got the bank, we got that weak Ravens secondary last week, but now we've got to attack attack the run defense here. Um which you know I suspect is not going to go well for them either. So yeah, I like Chiefs first half minus three, minus one fifteen. Steven, I would like to think that if you look back at if if you know when we look back on the season that we're not going to look back at these last couple of weeks and the the Bengals didn't make the playoffs because Zach Taylor decided that he wanted to get back to his roots of running the ball all the time. I mean, the reason you drafted these wide receivers, the reason you have Joe Burrow, the reason that you are that you've been successful for the amount of time that you've been successful is because it's better for them to just back up and throw the ball. Not every time, but you know what I'm saying. At a much higher rate than running the ball, throwing the ball in early downs and stuff like that. That being said, there's no reason for us to think that, that that they will. And that was another one of the reasons why I ended up on the Chiefs in this thing. But um, what do you think here of the overall prospects for the Bengals? And then what do you think of this 51 total in this one? I think the total is is appropriate. I think there's a, a mm-hmm. large chance that the Bengals are playing from behind in the second half, as Brad said, yeah. and, and Burrow's going to have to sling it around the field. So it's just hard for me any given week to handicap this Bengals team because we don't know what game plan Zach Taylor is going to trot out there, right? I mean, I, I wish I knew how much he was going to pass over expectation any given week. Last week was glorious, man. I mean, they were they threw the ball in 79% of first downs last week. It was amazing. Yeah. But the week before, they threw on less than 50% of first downs against Denver, and they only scored 15 points. So... 
I wish they would let Joe Joe Burrow cook every single week, even if there is an advantage statistically in the run game like there is in this one. I just don't trust that he's going to unleash Joe Burrow unless uh, unless he has to. I mean, we've seen that in a lot of games this year. We saw mm-hmm. it in the San Francisco game earlier this year as well. So I think the line is is about where it, it should be. Ben Baldwin's power rate ratings. Uh, he posts those every week on Twitter. He has these teams about six and a half apart on a neutral. So it's, it's about where this would be, depending on how much you want to give home field advantage for, for Cincinnati. The DVOA likes the chiefs defense more, but PFF grade has the Bengals as the number four offense against the chiefs. Number four defense, number one, overall passing game for the Bengals against the number four pass D for the chiefs. So, I don't know, flip a coin. Which Zach Taylor game plan are you going to get this week? Are you going to get Joe Burrow airing it out right away? Or is he going to run the ball and they're going to have to play from behind here? So we've seen teams try and have very long drives to keep Mahomes off the field. Uh, we've seen that a lot from from other opponents that the Chiefs have played. So I I, I don't have a good read on how this game is going to go. And I think the line is, is pretty appropriate. One angle I will be looking for is if the the Bengals do get behind and we can get a live spread of maybe more than a touchdown on the Bengals here, I'd be interested in that. That's a yeah, that's that's something to think about for sure. I am um I again I'm on I'm on the Chiefs in this one. I feel pretty good about it. Listen, I, I'm a Joe Burrow lover. I I thought I like this Bengals team overall. I just don't have a ton of faith in Zach Taylor to do what he needs to Me be neither. doing in this game. So uh hope I'm wrong. I do. I hope I'm wrong. I'll gladly lose that bet if the if the Bengals can get into the playoffs. Uh 